overarching themes. From speaking with our participants and their circles of support, some important themes emerged. These are the things that are important to think about for circles of support. And we think they are very important to share with you. Having a person-centered approach was highlighted as being important by the participants and their circles of support. This means ensuring that the individual and their wishes and preferences remain the primary focus. And this requires really getting to know the person over time. And I think part of what you do as well, like that's really encouraging for us is um, Martin has a path of life or a circle of life, which basically means that he decides what his goals and his like uh, objectives are like. So, you know, even before, like today, we're talking about Martin getting up in the morning. So for Martin getting up, no messing, like, you know, he's not on his phone, he's not dilly daddling and stuff like that. But he's brushing his tea, he's getting himself together. And like that comes from obviously at home, but like, you know, they really- That's reinforced then when yeah. it comes into day service. And I think- What's our saying, Martin? What should we say? Straight up, no messing. Straight up, no messing. First thing every morning. I'm not playing with socks in my house. Don't so play with socks and stuff like that. So, mm. yeah, I think that's important. Like, so Martin has, you know, ownership of what he wants to do. And like, sure. Yeah, we would have regular, say, we, we would have uh, monthly key worker meetings where Martin would decide what his goals are for the coming month. And then we would update the family or uh, maybe have to include the family in what those goals are in order to, to try and uh, yeah get them fulfilled but again having having family that are so willing to be involved in the day service is a huge benefit to us as day service providers because we can we, we, we can communicate directly with the family we know that we can ring them or they can ring us at any stage if there's any concerns on on, on either side you know and sometimes martin wants to speak to us about something that he wouldn't be too comfortable with speaking at home so it's good to have that kind of trust between both ourselves martin and the family and like getting to know them it's it's a matter of just sitting down talking to them it could be over a cup of tea mm. it could be outside we could be doing any of the jobs yeah. outside and you're just engaging with them all the time i think even in, in some families you know in in some of our close family that they would be afraid to ask us what was going on um you know what is audrey's you know, disability, what does she have a name? Is there, you know, something we can look up? Um, and I, I think it's very important that you're open with the family and you tell them things that you're not trying to gloss over and not trying to make the situation anything other than what it is. That's the only way, and asking questions is the only way we learn. And we're, we're all different. We all have our own little ways and we just need to, to be able to talk about them and put it out there that, you know, Audrey is a very important human being. She has the same, should have the same rights and as, as everyone else does. And I would like to see her being challenged and being able to do everything she wants to do. Even if that means tweaking it a little bit, getting someone to explain something in a little bit more simple language um, and just to take a little bit of extra time. It may take, you know, five minutes extra, but, you know, if that explains it, if that makes someone feel happier, better about themselves, well then take the time and do it. Reciprocal support, meaning you give and you receive, was also mentioned by several participants as an important way to start and develop relationships. And it's important to be good to your friends because they always pay back to you being yeah. good to them, you know? It's like that say, a camera can hit you either ways, a good or bad ways. Yeah. Be kind. And you need to yeah, have time. You need to yeah. be kind. Like you do. Kind is always good. Yeah. And it's important. But ways. Yeah, it does. Remote support. A lot of the participants spoke about how they maintain their relationships and contact with family members and friends using technology, phone and computers. In this way, important supports can be provided even if family or friends live far away. They also highlighted how some family members help 
when dealing with complex computer tasks like completing forms online using technology. As some agents and using, so the only way we connect is WhatsApp or voice messages or even Facebook messages and he'll come back to me. Overseas, there are two overseas and two in Dublin. Yeah, we're, we connect over, uh, there's two ways of, of connecting, uh, by me Messenger and WhatsApp videos to talk overseas. Confluence of support. Where support from different parts of the circles come together and combine to help one another for better quality of life for the person with an intellectual disability and their circles. Just even Martin getting out on a Friday evening after work and just mixing with his own friends and like the people he goes to work with and stuff like that, it is really important. Um, but I think as part of that, like, you know, the group and the community that we have, when Martin was ill in January, it was really obvious the amount of people who cared for him, like from the bowling, like Mill Lane, Stuarts, um, just the local neighbours and stuff like that, that they were really worried about my mum and like like as she mentioned she doesn't drive so they were very much like if she needed a lift or anything like that that was helpful so I think um, Martin's a key part of the community and everyone looks out for him. Now Una she, she needs these things now you know she needs these meetings and she needs uh, keep busy keep busy keep busy yeah no I don't know she needs to she needs to keep on the go because She'd be just lost now without these things, you know. Cascade effect, where existing people in their different circles may grow into another layer. For example, Pash and Joe first met through playing basketball, but later became very good friends. The circles are constantly changing and growing. Like we've been friends in the be in the beehive, and then we've been friends in in the basketball. Yeah, friends uh, in good clothes. And do you remember you uh, you left and you played for another team, and we still we, we still kept we still, we still uh, kept best friends. Still kept our friendship. We yeah. did. He played for another team. We did, and we've been getting on great. Even though he plays another team against us, but we still we like we even shake hands on we after the match. Yeah, no, we do. We do we shake hands after match. Okay, so. Um, Another poster of a called Shell. Shell. He's a part of Liverpool and Captain Dolphin your care. And you make me funny, you make me laugh. I didn't enjoy them. It's my, in my heart. So I think it's really important, like, you know, with his bowling group, his key workers, even like the neighbours um, on the road that we have, like, it's such a good feeling to know that Martin's cared for and loved and everyone has his best interest at heart. So, you know, part of that is the relationship with Aaron and Hilda in Mill Lane.